So another left back to add to the collection. I've got like five or six really top tier left backs in my club right now. So why not sprinkle another one into the mosh pit? However, Rolfo, who's a bit of a fan favourite this year, has an alternate position as a centre mid. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. So that is where I'm going to be playing a high, high, four star, five star, five foot ten Rolfos here. As you can see, centre mid, left wing back, left wing, and left back. We have a really solid looking card. Now, she has been injured. For a fair, fair chunk of the season so far, I believe she's back in full training now. So hopefully she's going to be getting the appearance points here, which will aid her hopefully to get to a 93. But Barca's women's team is absolutely insane. Like if you look at the team of the year, they had a good chunk of players in there. So I'd expect at least three of these upgrades to come in. The only one I'm concerned about here, actually at least two. She needs to play one and keep a clean sheet. Uh, or play free and keep a clean sheet in one of those. That is it. And then we're looking at a 94. So keep that in mind with the price tag. The card itself looks solid. Nothing crazy. But pretty consistent across the board. You can't really complain at a Hullet Gang with 90 dribbling. Aggression being low shouldn't affect her too much. Same with the balance and agility. Maybe a Kev style to fine tune that. Either super juice the pace or the agility and balance. That is the route we're going to take. 95 strength and the play styles. Pink pass I'm a big fan of. Whip pass as well. Trickster. It's a fun play style, but let's be real. If you're looking at the meta, could be so many better options, like a Relentless, maybe a Technical. Like Any of those would have been amazing, but we do have First Touch, Relentless, Quick Step, and Technical as the base play styles. In regards to the price, let me load a footbin real quick and have a look. While I'm doing it, you know the drill. Smash the like button down below. If you are not sub, press that button. We're on the hunt now. 20k subs is what we're closing down on. So if you're new around here, you can help me get a step closer. We've also got Smolarek who's come out as a, uh, an SBC. So if you want a review of him after this, let me know. Just under 600k. 595 according to Footbin. So a little bit steep, but the upgrade potential's there, as I said. I'm going to give it in regards to chem style. I think, honestly, I'm leaning towards an engine, you know. I think I'm going to give her an engine. Max out the passing, the agility, the balance, and that pace, and play her as a left-sided centre mid. That is the plan. Let's have it. What made her so like in demand at the start of the game, I think, was the uh, the height. She's not small. She's not small in the slightest. And the four-star, five-star, trickster. A lot of people were a fan of it. And genuinely, her goal cut at the start was solid. You know, you couldn't really complain. So hopefully, this one has a nice little, uh, nice little upgrade in regards to in-game feel and of course the potential for further upgrades is really what's getting me hyped. My opponent has got a very nice team by the way and he's looking like a bit of a sweat so we need to lock in here, clutch up and secure the W. Rolfo, fizzle that. Ping pass as well, one of my favourites especially for centre midfielders just to kind of break the line of your opponent's team real quick. Get out wide. Okay, okay, let's ease into this one. I'm pretty certain we're going to be on the score sheet at some point as well. Big Patrick. Sergio. You know what, she's drifted in the middle. She's drifted in the middle. Verna, one more. Rolfo! No way. The green time got off there. She's in the middle. Cafu! It's going to come, mate. It's going to come. Trust me. Give it to her on the edge. Stride a little bit into space here. Ball roll heel to heel is good. You know what? She feels responsive. Oh, the skill cancelled. It's not quite quick enough. But she's gliding. All right, movement's lovely. Ball roll inside. My opponent reads it well with Blanc. I probably should have gone on the right foot. Of course, we do a five-star weak foot, so don't be afraid to release the Kraken on that right. Bobby gets bullied. Sergio Gomez now. One. Rolfo touches there. Somehow keeps hold of it. You know what? She's got that serious premium feel to the card. She feels so quick and responsive on the ball. All the way. Mate, good, good keeper for Van der Sar. I tried to kind of bulldoze on my way through there. But we're definitely all over my opponent. The goal has to come soon, though. Oh, that could be it. Oh, she's offside. I'm pretty certain we've just uh, kicked whoever that is. I think that's Blanc square in the face. But decent movement. Again, she's just bombing forward by herself. I'm absolutely loving it right now. Get Cafu out wide. I've got Rolfo through the middle. One more. Oh, there it is. Let's go. As, mate, honestly, as a center mid, she is going to be a demon. A lot of people I saw when this got rumored to come out, we've all got so many insane left backs already. Center midfielders, there's more variety, more opportunities to mix it up a little bit. And I think Rolfo as a box-to-box -box center mid could be the one. It could be the way. But I'm pretty confident if you do need a left back, 
just still do a solid job in that position as well. But so far, I'm enjoying her getting involved, creating some havoc, and flowing on the ball. William, that's immense. Love it from Rolfo. Love it. I do just kind of wish we had like a press proven or a technical play style plus alongside ping pass. Just make it even more of a power. She costs like 600k. Trickster's just, I mean, look at a body Kante there. Trickster's nice. It's fun. Adds a different element to the game. But I'm all about the meta, boys. You know what I mean? If I'm using a sweaty midfield like that, I'm spending 600k on it. I would at least like a couple of our insanely cracked looking play style pluses. Mate, the speed of the controlled sprint is ridiculous. Ball roll. Bats are on the edge. RBNA utilize that ping pass the big Patrick. Rolfo picks it up. RBNA there to Werner. Little give and go. That's fantastic play. Travella, you know what? Could keep a movement. I almost had too much time. I should have been more composed myself. Rolfo now striding. Oh mate, she is she's ridiculous, lads. She's so cracked and responsive. Like, just the left stick alone is glued to her feet. One touch, step over speed. 95 strength, let's not forget. She is a unit. She's not going to get bodied easily all the way. Finesse shot from there. We get the green off. Van der Sar once again with a save. Falls back to her. Come on, man. A brace is calling my name. Vieira. Rolfo picking up in that little bit of space. Kante can't get anywhere near her. The strength is hilarious, man. She's so powerful when she gets stride in. I do run into traffic in the end there, but it's receiving the ball, turning, couple of step overs, stride into that space. Not many midfielders, apart from like maybe Big Patrick or Yaya Torre, are going to stand at any chance of bullying her off the ball. Oh, buongiorno. My Italian centre back. By the way, controversial opinion here. I honestly prefer buongiorno to Ricardo Carvalho. Let me know what you think down below. Rolfo. That's, that's tidy. That's tidy. Little ball roll there. Controlled sprint your way round. Trying to do a little bit too much. Stick to the basics, maybe. Love that. Through ball to Werner's on. Of course she finds it. Of course she does. Composure. But Ferdinand's heel blocks me from getting on it. By the way, only one goal up in this. I saw you've had about 14 chances. We need that second. Maybe a Trebella from Rolfo. You know what, man? She just sat down best. It's comedy. Like, how in control she is, but how physically strong she is as well. He's going bottom right. He's going bottom left. Okay, so close. Maybe I should have been uh, a little bit more, uh, a, bit, a little bit less greedy there. And maybe the little one too or something. But the controlled sprint is crazy, crazy nice of Rolfo. Come on then, Cafu. Stride into space here. Hone is trying to take me out. Eusebio! Greened. Not it down. Rolfo. Got to be. And it is. The brace is there. She's clinical in the box. Ridiculous shooting. I'm not going to lie to you. For the price tag, it's not cheap. But it seems like a bit of a bargain right now. Especially with like the likes of Ricardo Carvalho and stuff like that being more expensive. EA have, uh, have done this nice here. Oh, I love that through ball now to Eusebio. She's done it perfectly. Get the green tile. Fluffed it. Back sticks. Bobby Charlton. Game over. Oh, that's a penalty. That's a pen. It's chance. Rolfo gets clattered from best. He's flown in there. Oh, don't quit. If you quit, oh, he's left before we can score the hat trick. Unbelievable. So we're stuck in this menu right now. I don't know what's going on. I'm pretty certain my opponents just quit there. But we clutch up. Massive 3-1 win. Rolfo should have had a hat-trick. Would have had a hat-trick from the penalty if my opponent didn't leave. But let me just say, 600k for this card, in my opinion, is an absolute steal. There's not many cards like her in this game that could play that box-to-box -box center mid-roll. With serious speed, power, she moves really well on the ball. But it's the strength as well. She just does not get bullied. So, so quick. And dominant in the midfield. The passing, love it. Pink pass is brilliant. Whip pass, a nice element if you want to get a wide. Trickster, if that was a press proven, a technical, even a quick step or a rapid would be in dreamland. But still, a lovely card. Definitely a potential to get at least a plus two. Maybe even the, the whole shebang and get a plus four. I Honestly, you could play as a left back, should be fine there. But in my opinion, there's so many crazy left backs like your Davies, your Doggy, Matson, Havertz. I think she's better off played as a box-to-box -box center mid. 
But yeah, if you do do this card and player as a left back, do let me know down below. In regards to chem style, I enjoyed engine. I enjoyed the boost, the agility and balance. You could go shadow if you want to max out the defending and pace. But I think you want to use those more of an attacking card here. Don't really rely too much on the defending. Use that as a nice bonus and utilize the attacking attributes, in my opinion. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you want to see a smaller review after this. I'll be more. So subscribe if you're new. Catch you later.